All right, guys, I'm not gonna be like every other Amazon guru that's on YouTube that's gonna show you how to use softwares like Helium 10 to find products. Now, I think it's very important that you do that to discover product ideas. But today, I'm gonna tell you the five tips that you need to consider and do in order to turn a successful product idea into profits on Amazon. So using a software like Helium 10, using a software like Astro Pro, using a software like Viral Launch, it's very important that you think of product ideas. Now there are hundreds of ways to find a product. What you do after is so freaking important. What a lot of people neglect is the fact that they don't understand who they're actually gonna sell that product to. So that is step number one. Make sure that you understand who you're gonna sell your product to and what market it's specifically gonna serve. Back in 2018, you could sell ice to an Eskimo on Amazon. Amazon's buyer intent was crazy. But now, with the amount of competition that is in on Amazon, in order to differentiate, you need to be laser focused and niche focused into, again, a specific market and a specific customer persona. So understanding who your product is gonna be for is gonna be the number one thing that you need to do right now in order to be successful. Figure out where your customer hangs out. Whether that be at a physical location or whether that be online. Understanding where they hang out, where they communicate, allows you to get in front of them very preliminary. Before you even grab a sample for a product, you think of an idea that you wanna to do to your product and change it up. Before even going through and wasting money on what you think is gonna be cool, go and actually communicate with them. If your product is served for a customer that spends a lot of time at a bar, I would be damn sure going to a bar and asking them, hey, I was thinking about potentially creating a product that would solve this problem. I think you would be my end customer. What are your thoughts on that product? Now, if I were to do this by leveraging a Facebook community, I would do the exact same thing. I would join any kind of Facebook community or any kind of group online, go ahead and actually ask them the direct question. What is the problem that you're currently facing? I was looking to potentially create a product that's gonna solve that exact problem. What are your thoughts on this product idea, this product design, this product solution? Once you get some preliminary feedback, just verbally from your customer persona that you're gonna be selling to, then you wanna to move to the next phase. The next phase is actually sampling the product. Take that product idea, talk to manufacturers in China, create a sample product. You're gonna take that physical product that you have in hand and do the exact same thing. You're gonna go ahead and potentially create a focus group. You're gonna go ahead and go into that bar and talk to those same people. You're gonna go ahead and send photos directly to those same people that you're communicating with and more to ask them what their thoughts are on this product design and why you had created it in the first place. That is another lever of action that you can take to get more market validation in order to be successful with the product idea that you have. Now, one very powerful method that not a lot of people are willing to do is spending $500 ordering a test batch of 50 to 100 units and really just creating a bare bones listing, something that may convert on Amazon and see if you can get some market data directly from Amazon's marketplace itself. So no longer are you getting preliminary information that's allowing you to create your sample. You're now taking that sample and sending it into Amazon and getting actual Amazon market validation. This is a very, very powerful method. And some of the things that you wanna look for is to make sure that your cost per click is nice and low. You wanna make sure that you're getting a ton of impressions on your ads. And ultimately, you're trying to get some conversions, which will ultimately mean you're getting enough demand for your product so that you can put in a very comfortable large order and kill it and crush it out of the water. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is the power of split testing. As much as we can get this direct information from our direct customer personas, talking to these people where they essentially lie, whether they be online, whether they be in physical locations, and then taking that market validation from Amazon and, and sending in an actual test batch. What you're then gonna to wanna to do, now that you're going balls to the walls, you're putting in a big inventory order. The power of split testing to make sure that you have a good click through, to make sure that you're actually gonna convert compared to your actual competitors is gonna be paramount for you to be successful on Amazon. Now there's this sexy thing that we like to call the honeymoon period on Amazon. You have essentially 90 days to really prove to Amazon that you have what it takes to compete against your competitors. So why not spend time while your product is being produced, while your product is on the seat coming into the Amazon warehouse and actually create split tests using software such as Product Pinion and going ahead and actually asking them the simple questions of which product is better, this one or mine? Which angle is better, this one 
or mine? Which color is better, this one or mine? Take all of the necessary actions that you can do to get as much preliminary data that you can potentially get in order to be successful on Amazon. Now, these are all the things that you do after you find your product idea. If you're stuck in how to actually find a product, I've actually put together a tutorial for you that you can watch using Helium 10 and their Opportunity Explorer to find great product ideas and the criteria that I personally search within in order to have a successful product on Amazon.